What up, players? Back with another video. This time, I'm talking about gimbals. This, this is, uh, you know you to, to Travis. So in trying to grow my channel, one of the things I wanted to do was improve the quality of video. And one of the ways of doing that is with a gimbal. I've watched a bunch of videos on YouTube to try to figure out exactly which gimbal is the best. And I'll tell you, the one that I fell in love with was a DJI uh, Osmo. I have a DJI Spark, so I already like their products, I like their software, so it just makes sense. So when I went to order one, I found out a couple things. Number one, you can't get one, at least not yet. I know there's reviews out there, but the thing is sold out. It, as of this date, if you try to go to the website, you will notice you can't get it until at least March, and maybe beyond that. So I decided to see what else was out there. The other option is the Smooth Q. That seems to have universally good reviews. However, when I went to the app store to check out how the app worked, the reviews are terrible. And I'm not just talking about old reviews. I'm talking about current reviews. They're just terrible. And there's instances where it says it just doesn't work. Well, that's not good. But as it turns out, my favorite place in the world, Fry's, had it on sale for 80 bucks. So what am I gonna do? I don't really wanna spend much more than that anyway. I'm gonna head down to Fry's. So I went down there, saw a bunch of the smooth cues, and I'll tell you what, I had it in my hand. And then I looked to the right and there was one gimbal sitting there by itself, like a lonesome dove. It was called the Vilta M. And as I looked at it, I was wondering if this could be better. Now the price obviously is a lot more than I wanted to spend and it's even higher than the DJI Osmo. But again, one of the things about the smooth Q that was really bothering me was all the reviews about the bad app, and I just couldn't get that out of my mind. So I went online to see if there was any kind of reviews for it. There was one, it was very positive, and it had a feature that I wanted from the Smooth Q, and that is the 360 selfie option, which if you double click the camera button, it swivels around 360, and I really wanted that because if you didn't know, the back camera on a phone is a lot better than the front camera, which is what I'm using right now. So anyway, um, I went ahead and grabbed that and took it out, and let's talk a little bit about the Vilta. As soon as I got it home, unboxed it, and then much like most gimbals, there's not a lot to the box. All there is is the gimbal, the case, and a couple of cables. Now, one of the things that the app says you can do, and most of these gimbals can do, is charge your phone while you're using it. I can't find any evidence of that looking all over the gimbal. I see the bottom part where you can screw in a tripod. I see the micro USB where you can power the device and charge it, which by the way, 17 hours of battery life. Oh my God, that beats everything out there. And I saw um, the joystick and that's about it. I didn't see any other. There was a one mystery switch, which I still don't know what that thing is. And uh, that was about it. The other thing is, is when I went to get the app from the app store, it's, it's not there, at least not on Android. You go to the website and they give you a QR code which takes you to their mobile website which you download and sideload the app to your phone. Now, I don't know about you. I'm completely comfortable with sideloading an app. However, not a good first impression. I have to sideload your app? It's not that difficult to get it on the Play Store. The app itself is actually quite nice. As you can see here, there's a bunch of options. One of the options I was most interested in was the follow me mode as that was one of the things that a lot of people said was broken on the Smooth Q. And of course, DJI has that down pat. So this had to work. It's got time lapse. It's got motion time lapse. It has a joystick. It has a selfie mode that I love. It has a cool trigger. It just checks so many marks, but it's $30 more than the DJI. I don't know. What's the footage gonna look like? So this being my first ever gimbal, I took it out. Here are a couple of functions. As you've seen, there's a trigger on here. The one trigger pull is kind of the default mode, which is uh, locking up and down so you can actually tilt up and down while the phone will stay level uh, you can turn left to right and it will slowly turn and you actually can change the aggressiveness of that turn right now I have it on really really slow so you get a nice uh, a nice pan uh, really smooth um, but again like you can dip down and it'll stay straight this is good for the shots like I get it I can now get of Nathan which is great if you click it twice you can actually have it go up and down now. And again, the the amount of attack, so to speak, the how, the how fast it goes or how slow it goes is something you can change in the app. And if you do three, this is kind of weird, one, two, three, it actually just centers it back. So this is a weird place to put uh, this reset because there's a fourth one, one, two, three, four, and it'll just stick aiming the same direction no matter what I do. So it's staying aimed in that direction. Last week, when I walked the same exact path, you might have seen the camera going up and down. 
You'll notice now it's just me going up and down, not the camera. That's the difference between a gimbal and not a gimbal. So what do I think about the Vilta M? Is it the Osmo killer? Can it outsmooth the Smooth Q? Well, maybe. I mean, the app did crash a couple times when I tried to use the follow me feature and side loading is not my favorite thing and it's a little weird for people who maybe are not comfortable doing that. So they need to get that on the app store. But short of that, it's a really smooth gimbal. It's the first one I've ever owned, so it's easy to use. And uh, just basically, it's pretty good. If I can figure out how to charge my phone at the same time, I mean, it says it in the app, then this thing is pretty much a winner. I just don't like the price. If you're gonna be higher than DJI, you gotta bring everything. And it's very close to doing that. So do you buy it over DJI? I don't know. Do you buy it over Smooth Q? I think yes. With all the app problems that they're having, this is the gimbal that replaces the Smooth Q. Now, when DJI comes out and you can actually go buy it in a store, that might be the way to go. Vilta decides to then drop the price to maybe 99 bucks. I say go for it. It's a great buy, works awesome. It's got some great features and I like it. Thank you for watching the video. And if you like it, please like, subscribe, and share on all your social media and tell your friends. I'll save a puppy if you do, I promise. Peace and love, peace and love.